honest thing to do is cancel the results and then call for another election day. The law didn't come on him. It was not forced on him by a National Assembly. He was actually the champion supported by civil society. But now he's the one breaching the very law that he fought for. It's a very unfortunate circumstance. In a civilized place, this ought not to be. If he knows that he cannot keep to that which he asked for, he should honestly on his own step aside. That's what we expect. Otherwise, he, should, he has to do the right thing. And that actually is the process. So there's no question of a tran transitional process. If their portal is done and they could not upload, and therefore they cannot compare results, and they know they breached the Constitution, the only honest thing to do is cancel the results and then call for another election day. I know that some people ask, what about the cost? There's no cost to democracy. Whatever is right is right. If this country has to source for money in order to go forth, to give Nigerians a credible election so we can give hope to our country that there's a future for this nation, we have to go on. Even if it, it, it involves us borrowing money from any source. Democracy, that's a foundation. As long as that is broken and there's trust deficits in this nation, we will not be able to move forward as a nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the character of this government is that they have been making promises they have no idea about or they had no idea about. You wouldn't know this until when it comes to the time of delivery. When INEC chairman in November was speaking about how credible and how Beavers was going to work, they didn't even possibly know what Beavers was. They didn't know. This is their character. They make promises about what they have no idea about. Were they in a hurry to spend the money? Was it just about issuing contracts? Who was behind the contracts? Who supplied it? How much did they make? Who and who did they share with? More questions I can raise, but this is not the time for it. We want a credible elections in Nigeria. I'm only trying to tell you the character of this government whom our fate is in their hands today. The constitution provides a range if I can remember correctly, it's not less than, not more than 90 days, not less than 30 days to the swearing-in of the new administration. This is instructive to us because it has taken cognizance of the fact that there can be bad elections, there can be cancellations, and then you repeat. What we are asking for is not too much, it's practical, it's logical, is within the law because I just told you 90 to see they have 60 clear days. Go and buy Viva, beavers wherever it is. Make sure it works.